John, and I'm your MC for this evening. But my job is to stitch the whole thing together, um, introduce the acts, tell some dreadful jokes, <laughs> and, make, and make the whole thing look like it's been meticulously planned. Um, it hasn't been. Um, this church I saw online flooded in 1607. Uh, the, and the level of the water rose above the height of the queues, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> the, we're surrounded by a moat and it's been raining all day. Uh, although you know where the fire exits are, frankly, I think that's the least of your worries. Uh, the, I'd really appreciate if you could make sure that your mobiles are switched off, um, unless you happen to be a junior doctor and you're on call. <laughs> I've just said you're 10. So. <laughs> um, the, tonight's show is to raise funds for two causes. Uh, the first cause uh, was going to be to send the Great Western Chorus to Nashville to sing an international competition. Unfortunately, they've had to pull out of that for a variety of reasons. Um, the, they were really looking forward to competing, going and singing on the international, international stage, uh, performing in America, and showing the Americans quite how hard a chorus of British men can party. Um, the, the chorus are devastated, the people of Nashville are hugely relieved. Um, and the remainder goes towards church funds, um, and they're using that to construct a, a toilet in this building, which will make life an awful lot easier, because at the moment the congregation are a little bit like a useless detective. They're very nice, but they have nothing to go on. <laughs> tonight is not the whole of the Great Western Chorus, because we never fit them in here. There are, I can see, there's a number of other chorus members in the audience. Um, the, as you will see in here, the chorus members that are going to perform for you first have been selected more for their talent than for their looks. <laughs> uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the lesser spotted Western <laughs> Chorus. <laughs>
might just be interested in what we do. We meet in South Mead, yeah, not too far from here, 25 minutes up the road, you should be able to get there no problem at all. Ladies can get the remote control on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Everybody's happy. So, if you want to have a look at our website, it's the Great Western Chorus, or if you want to look at singbristol.com, by all means, come along, join us, and we'd be great, great to see you. Alright? Excellent. Next song. <laughs>
And, and when, I, when I finally used the ball pieces, I realised that the picture was a photograph of our family um, all lined up in front of the roaring fire. But all of the pieces that made up my face were missing. <laughs> uh, I think she's trying to tell me something. Uh, I love jigsaws so much that I've now started to make my own. Uh, and I don't know if you realise that we, we're jigsaw makers, that when you make your own you have to send them off to be tested by people. And I'm currently working on a series of uh, famous entertainers for jigsaws. Uh, I've just finished one, uh, that's Frank Sinatra. Uh, and I've sent it to this guy in New York to test it because I figure if they can make it there, they can make it This next puzzle, however, is much easier to solve. Um, the, there are only four pieces, and they fit together beautifully. Please welcome Jigsaw.
and be judged by the other man. I'm tired of looking around. Oh, who we do want to be? Somebody like you. Who do we want to be? Oh, like you. Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be?
in and around Bristol. And this next act come from one of those, called, a chorus called Bristol Fashion. Uh, for a group of women to have chosen the name Vintage is particularly brave, given that they knew, given that they knew I was going to be introducing them tonight. Because uh, I always, I'd always thought Vintage meant old. Vintage car, vintage clothes. Uh, so they picked a name for their group that means old, but I, I'm not going to introduce them as a group of old women. <laughs> Frankly, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> the, because the dictionary definition of vintage says something quite different. It says, vintage is something of high quality and lasting value, showing the best characteristics of a particular style. Especially from the past. <laughs> Vintage. Shibi-doo-wop, 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 shibi-doo-wop
we're just about halfway through one more act before the interval. Uh, a wonderful show it's been already. I, I have to say, I'm really pleased because I, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't enjoy it because I haven't been feeling very well recently. Oh. So, to be honest, I've been feeling worse than that. Oh. Um, mostly I've been having problems with my hearing. Um, the, oh. I can hear some noises really clearly and other noises not at all. And my wife's been... Um, What's the word? My wife's been reminding me um, that I should go to the doctors, and in the end, yesterday, I did go along with the doctors, and they told me that I have a condition known as husband's ear. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's quite common. Um, the, I can hear a pin drop three streets away, but if my wife asks me to change a light bulb, nothing. <laughs> Not so um, the, the only treatment appears to be regular smacks on the side of the head, uh, and that is indeed the course of treatment that we're following. The, more than anything else, I think what I need is a tonic. Oh. Ah. Please welcome the next quartet to entertain you, Tonic! <laughs>
day is tomorrow. Uh, uh, so so <laughs> day. Uh, and Valentine's Day, uh, named after Saint Valentine, who legend has it uh, married people that the Roman Emperor had forbidden to be married, and Saint Valentine was imprisoned for years and then beheaded. There's a cheery thought for when you open your cards in the morning. <laughs> Last year I said to my wife that I thought Valentine's Day was an unnecessary commercialised event, uh, promoted incessantly by card companies to fleece the gullible. Um, and she reminded me of the fate of St. Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought her a card on the way here, thank God the motorway services were still open. <laughs> this year, however, I've really gone for the romance. So I, I cooked a table for the two of us tomorrow night. To be honest, I don't even know if she can play snooker. I can say all these things about my wife for two reasons. Uh, one, one is that I love her dearly. Uh, uh, it's not one of the great romances, you know, we're not Anthony and Cleopatra or, or Burton and Taylor or Chris and Giselle Wall. <laughs> they, uh, they, but we do love each other, and sometimes when I look at her, I can see the young girl that I fell in love with all those years ago. Uh, to be honest, I wish I'd married her. But <laughs> <laughs> well, there is, of course, the second reason that I can say all these things about her. She's not here. <laughs> it's on video. <laughs> and, uh, all very talented ladies, and I'd be happy to have any of them. My Valentine. Please welcome Obsession. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you might have noticed that actually you don't need very much to sing a cappella. You don't need your music, you don't need to have a director in front of you. What you do need is you need a voice. And um, sadly today, um, our own, our normal lead, Elena, um, has got a dreadful lurk. It's February, what else can we expect? And we really did think that we were going to have to pull out for this evening. But we've been really, really lucky, and um, we've been able to call on Janice, who sings in our chorus, uh, to join us tonight. Um, and she's been wondering why we picked her, and it's not just because her shoes fit, and it's not just because the top fits. But she's, she's a fabulous singer, and we're really, really grateful that she's stepped up to the plate tonight. So we started rehearsing at half past five this evening. Um, so um, I hope you'll enjoy what we've got for you. Our first song is a lullaby. Um, you might recognise it, a bit of Joel number, and we're going to try and lull you gently. Um, and we hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>
back the guys from H Club that were with us in the first half, I should perhaps explain that until about nine months ago, I, I also used to sing with the Great Western Chorus, um, and I, I brought them a class and dignity. <laughs> they, they've been sadly lacking since. <laughs> Fra frankly, it's a miracle how they won the British Championships last year without me. Um, they managed to do it. And since then, I've, I've been looking for a new hobby, and I've been looking far and wide, trying all sorts of things. Uh, I've taken up ice sculpting, uh, not as easy as it sounds. Uh, the, uh, last week, I, I finally made an ice cube. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I made 12. I'm getting, I'm getting better at it. Um, and my father-in-law has been trying to get me to get into other things and he asked me the other day what I was interested in. Uh, I told him and we had a long discussion about the philosophy of Plato and all the difference that Plato's learnings had made to the world. And after about 10 minutes I said, no, no, not Plato, Play-Doh. <laughs> I like, I like Play-Doh. <coughs> Please welcome Gavin group of guys who I've missed so much since the, in the time that I've been away from the chorus. They're hugely entertaining, as you saw in the first half, and they're going to be fabulous again now. H Club.
We wanted to sing a song which was uh, a romantic song for you, uh, because it's Valentine's Day. I just want to ask you a quick question. Can you just give us a quick cheer if you're in love? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they weren't quite sure. Um, and now, uh, give us a cheer if you're in love with the person you're with tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not more confident now, of course not. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, this song, this song is for everybody who is in love right now. It's called All You Need Is Love. <coughs>
and the woman is married to one of the men. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can spot which one it is. <laughs> I'll give you a clue, it's the one that looks terrified to get me wrong. <laughs> last reminder of Valentine's Day for those of you that might have forgotten, because trust me, if you wake up tomorrow and you've forgotten, you will have no excuse. So I've written a little poem that says all about what Valentine's Day means to me. Roses are red, but there are also pink, white, yellow, and a whole lot of other varieties. Violets aren't blue, they're violet. That's why they're called that. <laughs> I'm a bit pedantic, <laughs> and my poetry skills are sadly lacking. Please welcome Constellation! <laughs> Shining so bright, I never saw things going so right. There's no sin day. Home. 
listening there two songs, I just want to wish you all a safe journey home. Thank you for coming. Please welcome all of our acts. <laughs> Yeah.
Jesus.